This is for my students, and I'm sure that they were not looking for a healthy alternative banana bread, but you know what? That's just what they're gonna get. These extra oats, reduced sugar, that Greek yogurt. I mean, come on, it smells really good. And you probably can make it in a loaf pan, but this is gonna allow me to get just more little nibbles for them in class tomorrow. I, I lined it because I, I didn't wanna deal with the cleanup, I know, lazy. But I'm doing the best I can, folks. This is the best I can. The hardest part of making banana bread is letting it sit. Now, I think, my opinion, it should sit overnight before you taste it and slice it. Sometimes you just get into it when it's hot, and that's okay too. Okay, here you go. Mm. It's so, like, it's like a granola bar, but not like a granola bar. It's very, it's very thick and it's got a good chew. It's moist. It's dense without it being like, oh, like a brick. This is great. Never made anything like this before but I think it's fantastic. It's very sweet too, but there's so little sugar. I let the bananas do all the, all the talking here. Have a great day. Oh, I'll let you know what my students think of it when they taste it, because they're very honest. Back from teaching, so many of the kids um, liked the bread so much that they asked for the recipe, so I think that means that they liked it. I, I hope you guys give it a try. If you don't have Greek yogurt, you can use plain yogurt. You could use sour cream. That could be okay. The tang with the banana, I think that would be delicious. Just try something new because we should all do that every single day.